Hello everyone, I'm Chaotic. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you guys enjoy. So today we are gonna get right into it. Um sorry, I missed a day immediately after I said, Oh yeah, we're gonna be back streaming. Um I'm getting sick again. I I don't understand. My body hates me. Um but it, it is what it is. We're doing better today. Yesterday I woke up and I felt like I got hit by a truck, so <laughs> I wasn't doing much of anything other than barely existing. So anyways, what our plan today is, um, I've been looking around a little bit before I launch a stream, just to give it a little check. I want to get to the Arcan Gem for the Arcan Stone processing and everything. I feel like this will be this will be a nice little detour for now, because we're going to need it soon-ish anyways. So I plan on at least getting um, the Orchid and the Recursive Powder today. That's That's the objective. To get that, we need what's called a Purity Offer. You put this guy next to the Pure Daisy. He's going to need all of these things, and I feel like we have all of this. Um, I don't think we have this guy yet, but I think you can click this multiple times for the uh for the Dianthos. I think for the warp stone. Um, vibrating stone we got from Vibe already. The Dreadlands Power Stone. Yeah, we can just make an our sterilized altar, that'll be fine. That'll probably be our way to do it. 64 pure daisies, that's going to be pretty easy. We can just do that one by hand. Um, an Eden Refined Gem. Okay, so I didn't already find one, but I, I do know that you just find them in Eden. They're in, um, they're in a part of the world gen, so that shouldn't be that big of a deal. It should be completely accessible. Um, I think at least. And it's going to need Terra Steel and Short Mead. What's this? Just, I would assume, some kind of fermentation of honey. Yeah, okay. So, any kind of fertilizer compound, which we already have in a fermenter with honey. Um, I wonder how much honey dross we have. 487,000. That's pretty good. Oh, we'd already been doing this at one point. Uh, we'll grab our 10 buckets of honey real fast. Let's uh, make a fermenter. I guess we'll, we'll just start that one first. Some fertilizer. I looked up compost because that was the first thing that comes up, but we'll just do fertilizer. That should be easier. <clears throat> Grab a bucket. In this case, 10 of them. Uh, what else does it need? So I, I assume it also needs the honeydew. Yes, okay, yeah. This is this falls into the usage category. We have five of it. Um soul combs, mellow combs, shipping combs. Okay, dripping combs, I uh, give it to you. I want to say we have a ridiculous amount of those, right? Yeah, a few hundred thousand. Okay. We'll put these five in here. I don't know how much is going to be consumed for how much. Okay, one per 500 mil buckets. All right, so you need like 20. 
if that math adds up, I'm not sure. Let's turn off an alarm that's going to go off soon preemptively. Okay. Um, here's our separator. I'm like, I know we have one right here somewhere. He's not a super high level one, but he'll be able to get us our 15 honeydew real fast, no problem. Also, this is uh, pretty quick on the transfer, so that's not bad. Just need that 15, right? Um, yes. Pretty sure I can do math. I think it'll be fun. Okay. I think it's the uh, the mead or whatever going for it. Um, the molten terra steel won't be hard. We'll just manually craft this uh, through this recipe for the 24 ingots, and then melt that down. Could melt it in the smeltery or a melter. Probably gonna just use a melter. It being 10,000 millibuckets is weird because I don't think that's ever gonna evenly divide out to the um 144 per ingot. I'm pretty sure. No, it's gonna be 69.444 repeating ingots. Okay, transmuting comb. Okay, we have a couple of those. <laughs> the appetite singularity. Um, I we I don't remember if appetite just has EMC. It does. Yeah, yeah, because we used appetite to make the fertilizer. Um, really early on, I remember. Okay, so we can just manually pull out the appetite needed for that singularity. So we need, I guess, the actual mythic assembler as well. <laughs> It's going to be quite a few for this. Take all the miners off. Oh, by the way, the miners did actually stop. Um, there was a issue with the cyclic melter. Whenever it fills up with biomass, it actually doesn't work anymore. Um, but it's a pretty easy fix. Uh, as you can see, the cosmic matter is going again now. Uh, all I had to do is there's like a lock recipe button in the melter. You lock it to one slot and then you're, you're fine. One slot worth of biomass melting and then it's totally okay. The assembler himself is kind of expensive, but like also not really. It, it's in a weird way. Like we have the Dark Soul Machine chassis in mass. Um, we need some Mythmanite blocks. I guess I ordered a lot of Mythmanite at one point. Because we only need 12 of those? Yeah. We need some Crystal Teen. We'll just pull a stack of blocks out and it'll start remaking it because we have it past like 2000. Um, Futura blocks. Grab ourselves a chisel. We have one right here. Is it purple in me controller? Yeah, purple in me controller. There we go. Stack of those. Titanium Iridium Alloy. We have 464 ingots worth of it. But I could also just grab a stack. Um, get Iridium. Grab a stack of these two, and I think I can just throw these into an alloy furnace. Yeah. That's not bad. Um, molten salt reactor glass, which means we're gonna need 48 of these walls. Do we have everything for this? Okay, cool, sweet. We'll start the craft on that immediately. Um, because the glass is just glass mixed with the uh, salt reactor wall, so that'll be easy. Already crafted eight. What's it gonna wait on? Oh, not much. It's gonna be done really fast. Okay, sweet, nice, very nice. Let me see that. Um, 36 uh, fusion coils. Helium cells, how is helium cells missing? And the plutonium makes sense. Because I probably have a ridiculous amount of plutonium dust in here. Yeah, I just don't have the actual ingots from it. Just because it needed to be uh, 
process through an arc furnace. I haven't made mythic processors yet to uh, change the dust out. I could melt her into an ingot former on it. <laughs> I guess that could work, actually. I have a good amount of the dust. Um, for now, we can just do this manually a little bit. I know, not the name, uh, not the name of the mod pack typically. Okay, let that go for a second, and then we needed helium cells. That's helium plasma. This guy. Tin and arrow clouds. I felt like I'd already passive this at one point. Because I, I have the cold air cloud, right? Yeah, I do. Maybe I just made it by hand at one point. Um, What was this made in? Just an induction smelter. You can do that. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Contemplate if I want to add to this jank or not. Cause it's funny if I do, but I'm gonna I'm forgetting where things go whenever I keep doing this, which only does make it funnier. I will be honest. <laughs> well, adding to the jank it is. Uh, it's been decided. Make an induction smelter. Grab our conversion kit. Grab some auxiliary upgrades. If you're ever gonna have an induction smelter, at least make it fast. We'll uh, take this guy very ceremoniously right here. Take these guys to input, auto input. His right side will be output. Both. We need quartz slivers and helium cells to be managed. Or no, it won't be slivers stuff. Uh, I'm doing the second recipe. It'll be small piles of phosphorus dust. Get two EMC links. Unlock that slot. Sweet. Now let's go on down. Helium cell, phosphorus dust, pink pink. Okay, those guys will now get regulated and managed by the system, just to make sure, because that's going to have a pretty fast throughput speed that it doesn't add up to anything ridiculous inside of our stuff. <sighs> All right, let's go and check on our plutonium real fast. There you go. Should be enough for now. I really do need to automate that. Once I get a mythic processor for it, it won't be that big of an issue at all. Um, I just haven't done that yet, so. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. Alright, fusion coils. 36 of them. Nice, no problem, sweet. Okay, so that's salt reactor done. It's, uh, fusion coils done. Titanium iridium alloy is waiting on us. Futura blocks, dark soul machine chassis, crystal teen, mythmonite, concrete. I feel like we probably have some extra concrete. I can craft it. Okay, yeah, make like 20 of it, sweet. Okay. Concrete's done. Draconian blocks, obviously. Um, 16,384Ks. We have 30 of those storages. Um. Okay, we don't have enough for that. Let's set a craft for 30 of these. We're missing 296.
That'll get these guys also crafting, um, just for extras. We already have 30 of them, so we had plenty. And then it'll just be some hatches other than that. Okay, that's everything for the Mythic Assembler except for the Spatial Pylons. Um, we have the other worldly combs. We have the recipe in here for these, right? How many pylons do I need? 36. What am I missing for this? Okay, so we don't have otherworldly combs automated, actually. Lapis singularities. Crystalline pink slime um, conduit. That's just a matter of a recipe. Gallium and germanium dust. Dreadlands infused power stones. Hmm. <laughs> How many power stones am I gonna need? Yeah, you need them for the dreadland gems. Obviously, need this one for the purity offer. Um, and then it looks like really just spatial pylons. Hmm. Oh. Oh man, you would still need six of them? That's tough. <laughs> I'm like, how many cotton candors would I need to kill for this? Um, how far is the deep knowledge callstone? It needs residian. Renium and a trial key can give you the corrupted glitch hearts needed. Residian's made pretty easily. Residian ingots are made in a funny way though, right? Adamantium. Do we... Ha no, Pixonia. Okay, yeah, so that's where the blocker on all that is. Alright, so crafting the spatial pylons seems a little bit painful right now. I could find 18 more structures in... What's it called? Um, Sedna. Because you find them two at a time there. So we could find 18 structures in Sedna for this. But I guess I'd kind of add up with all the other stuff we're doing too. Do we have a Dreadlands Power Stone still? I wonder. No we don't. So we'd need to acquire Dreadlands Power Stone as well. Which we can just craft in the altar up here. I guess let's do all of the like the really easy things that we can do here first real quick if possible. Um... This guy's the sterilized altar, right? He's gonna make sure he has a tank full of, uh... P.E. Yeah, he does. Cool. That's an output. This will be an input. Rallium infused stone. Dreadlands essence. Okay, we have just enough. Perfect. And one Rallium infused stone. Do -do. Okay, that guy will craft. We'll have a power stone in there waiting for us. No problem. These four pure daisies are quick by hand. Eden refined gem, so we need to go to Eden. Um, warp stone, so we need to make Malum and Clausare. Which means we'll need an evil insight. This is going to be a small process, I think. To leave it lightly, at least. Okay, let's do it one step at a time. Let's get the last of the stuff together for the um, Mythic Assembler first. So let's go and get our spatial pylons. Let's set up a Mythic Assembler, and then we'll continue from there. I think that's, uh, that's a good idea. We've got a few processes that are going that'll take a little bit of time. Uh, where, oh, where is this guy? Cool. I didn't mean to go to Oi. <laughs> Uh, set that. All right. So the thing about this is it is exploration. So there's only so much fun I can have with it. Whenever it's exploring the same thing over and over again. But that's okay. Doesn't need to be particularly impressive every time. And I am doing it to avoid just 
setting up proper passive and crafting lines, <laughs> which is really what I should do. But since I only need the one, uh, well, I only need the 36 more right now, I'm going to do this again. And later, whatever, I, I require even more spatial pylons. Um, just a quick little double check on that. How many are we going to end up needing? Yeah, like you need 63 just for a synthesizer. And then we'll need 36 for every assembler that we want. Oh, and we're going to need some for the Dyson Conduit too. Only four for those each, but that's still a good amount. And four for the Ultra Capacitor Banks. So yeah, they're definitely going to be on crafting at some point. That's a problem for future me. Current me has the problem of lying around until I find them. We found one of 18 that we need. Essentially just keeping an eye out for that little star shape on the floor. Um, it's a pretty obvious generation, or in this case, a star shape that's not on the floor. The center will always have a chest, it always has two, and then a half stack of sticking iron. Oh, there's another right here. Sweet. Um, and I'm using the journey map to make sure I don't go to the same areas I've already been to before. It also does help to do a quick little check on your minimap occasionally. Try to make sure that you're not missing any that are visually apparent. Which can happen. And then with like the lifeguard method. Got to scan and sweep. I love that little bit of world gen lag. <laughs> also, at some point, I may reset my uh, Sedna world because I've explored this one quite a lot and I feel like it's a decent portion of my world size for backups now. So, if I do do that, I'll try to mention it. On uh, like the next stream kind of thing. Because it doesn't really matter. Um, if I reset it, it would be just like if I flew around in it just further away again. So it doesn't effectively change anything. It just uh, decreases world gen size. Set backups don't have quite as much on them. Especially since uh, so much of this is nothing. <laughs> or it means nothing, I guess, more so. How many are at? Eight? Yeah. 14 left. I love how I keep, uh, <laughs> I keep being like, okay, I need 18 pairs. And then I keep talking about the, um, ones I'm actually getting in their, like, uh, singular form. <laughs> I just keep swapping back and forth between them. I don't even know why, to be honest with you. Let's just divot. Yeah, there's nothing, it's just ice. This look kind of funny. But yeah, I still feel like this is going to be faster than dealing with uh, setting it up for crafting stuff. Pretty sure this can't be it. Yeah. I think it always spawns in that little uh, like crunch in the ground essentially. Does it always have that weird like outline? At least it never generates on the floor like that. <sighs> Lying around and searching. But yeah, we'll look into getting that automated soon. Or probably not soon, actually. Probably like a while from now, but it depends on how fast we progress to needing other things. Like, I don't really know where the entropic synthesizer lies in requirements or how many assemblers I'll need.
Not too bad, though. And uh, I'm pretty sure, like, we're not really that far off on anything else, either. I'm trying to think of, like, while I fly around, I'm trying to think of any other bottlenecks I'm going to have on getting to the uh, purity offer, but I don't think there's many. Because, like, I think we're really just at this guy. So we'll need this to get Malum, to get Dianthos, to get the pure warp. And then this lets us make the warp stone. And then that warp stone is going to be needed. But, like, I don't think that's going to be a lot. Um, making a closet array manually isn't that bad. Uh, I don't think. I want to say the recipe wasn't horrible. It was just kind of annoying. Tedious to automate, but not horrible if you're just doing it manually real quick for one set. Up to six cents. Twelve more. So that was one right there for a second. Oh, our 16,384 gates are done. All of our crafting, right? Yeah. Um, is there anything else we can order for now? Evil inside obviously isn't happening. And I'm pretty sure I don't have any of this stuff on demand at all. Yeah, I don't. Anything else? I don't have crafting for the... I don't have any kind of automation for the Botania plants. I know I'll need some later. I forget what recipe it was I was looking at. But one of them required like a ridiculous amount of... I want to say it was like thermal at least. No. No, it was something that took a ton of them. Like an unreasonable amount of them to do by hand. Somewhere in the thousands, I want to say. It was pretty late on though. <laughs> So, I won't worry about that right now. Also nice, we found a few pretty close to each other again. Pretty cool. Still just thinking, um, trying to see, I can't, can't think of all that much that will need extra. It's just every time I check these things, I'm slowing myself down on the search whenever I'm going to end up checking these things later anyways. So I should probably stop checking JEI for them. If I could think about it, that's fine, but. There's another one. We've got half of them now. Need to find nine more structures. Not too bad. I wanna say that we've only been flying around here for about five minutes probably. It's like a small little 10 minute search, hopefully. There's another one. That was very loud from my side for some reason. That was ridiculous. <laughs> thank you, FR2XE. I don't know how you want that pronounced. <laughs> but uh, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> thank you. Man, both of you have such hard to pronounce names. <laughs> I appreciate both of your follows. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. How you two doing on this fine... What, Thursday morning? I'm currently in the process of locating spatial pylons on Sedna because I refuse to set up crafting for these so far. And uh, if I made everything, you know, like properly, then it'd just be too easy. And 
pylons are holding everything up. Because once I get these, we get the mythic assembler, we'll make the daisies, we'll make the appetite singularity, and I think that's it. I think that's all we need to get the purity offer going, which is not bad at all. We shall see. Yeah, we're doing it. Okay. Only need seven more. Seven more structures. Come on, structures. I want to see like three of them all close to each other, please. Thank you. There's one. Perfect. By right this way. Oh, there's another. <laughs> okay, sped up slightly. Let's see, can we get another one? Oh, a little bit of lag. Makes sense, I'm generating a pretty large amount of chunks at this point. Fine now, seems manageable. Oh, and there's a third one. I should have said all seven. Like three was, uh, I guess, slow balling it. Come on, pull out the other four. Surely, surely they don't make me wait that long. Once we get these guys, it's going to be a pretty big set of progress. It's also once we finish up the Arkenstone line, that's going to save us from having to deal with the. Um, making Sedanite as well. That's going to guarantee our Sedanite production in like a pretty ridiculous quantity. Hi, hello, welcome to the stream. Okay. We need three more structures. Should be pretty fast. Love that. It was just a fun little bot. <laughs> My hello was wasted. As a mage. Is what it is. Come on, three more. Three more structures. Surely, we get this soon, right? <laughs> oh, there's one. Two more. Still positive this is faster than setting up any kind of crafting. Even though I've had to do this like three times or four times in total now. Still pretty sure I'm winning. If you found them one at a time, I would have set up the crafting already. But since you find them in pairs, it doesn't feel as bad. I'm able to trick my brain into thinking that it's like, oh, it's only 19 structures. It's only 18 structures. You know, that's, that's manageable. Here's another, and after this we'll need one more, right? Yep. Here we go. Alright, very last one. That is our 36 spatial pylons. Let's go home. Okay, 
the mythic assembler. So let's get our salt reactor stuff. Glass. So we have our 48 salt reactor glass. Let's get our fusion coils. We have our 36 fusion coils. We have our 36 spatial pylons. We need our 36 titanium iridium alloy blocks. Our purple Futura blocks. Um, a weird number of these, right? Not 36, yeah, 33. 17 Dark Soul Machine chassis. We have 200 just made, so. Don't even worry about that, Crystal Team. 16 blocks of these. 12 blocks of Mythmonite. Eight ultimate energy input hatches. Specifically wants the ultimates. Let's turn repeaters. <laughs> I should teach it how to make these. Eight of these guys. Perfect. Or eight things of concrete. Guys, out. Four draconian blocks. Four sixteen thousand three hundred eighty-four k's. Two fluid input hatches. Um, we're gonna need at least a. Ah, we'll just look at them here. I want to say we're probably gonna need the full size at some point, right? Right. No, okay, so by far the, the most one is uh, 10 buckets. So we'll just make the 16 bucket one. I'll make two huges. That's fine by me. Um, And then we need an item output. Of which we will make the largest because you can only put one item output hatch on this guy. And an item input. The item inputs. This one's going to need 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, yeah. So we just need one that can do 10 for an item input. Lucas item input. We're going to make this guy convert him over to an output. We'll make a big item input for the 13 should be fine. Holds 12 slots. I think that is everything in our inventory for a mythic assembler to just be... Oh, of course, we're forgetting the controller. We need the controller. And what does this chisel over from the void miner? Really? Unexpected. Um, What was it? This one. Mythic Assembler, make this guy. Then we're going to chisel this back into a Void Miner, because I will probably not remember that that's from the... <laughs> that's from the Void Miner section. Okay, um... Yeah, this all looks pretty good to me. Now, the fun part is... It's a pretty big structure, isn't it? Well, like, obviously, it's all out of blocks. It's a 13 by 14 by 7. Um, at least it's not that wide. And it's too long to fit in a compact machine because of the fact that it's 14 blocks tall. Also, I wonder how much of this you could wall share. You really share a stem. Maybe part of this internal wall, because there's no uh, connections on this side. 
Yeah, probably. <laughs> Interesting. You could definitely tile that over. It's funny. Um. Oh, damn, you can click on the blocks and see their actual... Why did I not know this? <laughs> I, I didn't know you could do that. You could click on a block directly and then see what else could go in that slot. Like how this one shows, it's only ultimates. Hmm. Sorry, okay, yeah, neat info. Um, I'm not sure where to put this. This will not fit anywhere even reasonably, like, nice into our current setup. You put it over here next to our fusion. Put it in one of these slots. Wait, could we? It's 13 by 7 in width. Yeah, okay. It could it could fit like right here. Where's the controller going the block? And the bottom is energy inputs. What are the energy requirements of this guy? 600,000, 5 million. Okay, so yeah, we'll we'll want some direct flux points on it. That's all I was trying to confirm. So the controller goes one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, I think. Six blocks of space, so it's seven blocks down. So it's the pretty as close to the center as you can get for a fourteen block structure. It's one up. So six from the top, or in this case seven blocks of uh in between from the bottom. Any seven blocks back. Okay. Um, let's grab some cobble, or like some scaffolding. I think this will be fine. Let's drop this controller right here. Let's uh, let's just get our stick. Let's just bonk him. Our beautiful assembler. Now let's see it. Is he going to fit nicely here, or is it going to be slightly too close to where those water cells are on the side? <laughs> I think it's going to squeeze in just fine. We'll need to put some flex points underneath, uh, so we'll break out the floor underneath for where it's needed. It's not as big as you would expect it to be. Like, it feels like this structure is a lot bigger than it is. But it, it's really not. Like this is this is pretty reasonable. It fits very nicely in this little quadrant. That's fine. Clicked a little bit too fast and I broke one. Grab a flex point. Actually, let's grab one that's already been used. Yeah, this guy. Put him here. Um, disable his limit. And there we go. Cool. Yeah, that buffered each one of these with their few billion or whatever that they need. Okay, this guy has plenty of energy now. Now, our purity offer. What else are we missing? Um, the Eden gem. Let's do that because that's going to take exploration. It's found somewhere in Eden. I know you can make one in a Dragonfire Crucible with Twilight Fire. But this is not accessible right now because I think you can only get it from Lumps. Yes, okay, yeah. Um, and these Lumps of which are explicitly found in... Uh, Vithia, which is chapter 7, I think. So to Eden we go. I'm going to say this is our Eden portal. Yep. Okay, so I have zero idea on what structure is going to spawn the chunk. What did I just break? There's blood master metal in there. Um, also, in hindsight, actually, I should 
Let's get our storage scanner. I want to say I have one in my inventory somewhere. Nope. Okay. It's probably just in here then. Yep. We will just simply use this guy on every structure. And you can just click scan. It'll show you any of the blocks nearby. And then uh, that should be it. Shouldn't be too, too bad. And in this structure, it's fine. Cool. We'll keep this all going. Um, I'm pretty sure it spawns in a structure. Okay, so there was nothing in that chest. I was just making sure it wasn't looking weird. Nothing ratable here. This is Sunstorm Spawner. Um, obviously broke that apart manually myself at one point. This guy out. Oh, that's convenient. So we're actually gonna need all of these uh, for a guy very soon. Getting some sets of these real fast will be nice. Because I want to say, um, God, those guys are loud. It was for one of the things, uh, Evil Insight is going to need these on the outside. So I, I can craft these. Um, they're not really expensive. I think I can just make them with some wool crystals and set the night. But um, just convenient. I don't have to craft them now. I have a Sunstorm spawner. I don't know what this thing is. There's no chest near it, so. That is fine. Keep it moving. Pretty much any kind of structure like object. The wo That's a lot of bosses. Where's that? Oh. I wonder where it is, guys. Alright, shut up. He died too. Just because he spawned in there. So, their hitbox is so weird on these guys. There you go. You know, actually, I think that's just a bunch of scorcher stuff. Let's just, uh, Master spell Perdicio. Isn't that what lets you break the things? Oh, here's our Eden gem. A hint for later. Oh my god, there's why is there six biome crystals as a hint for later? <laughs> I don't want six biome crystals as a hint. <laughs> I'd rather there not be something related to biome crystals. Oh my god. Uh ignore these guys hitting me. I'll be fine. All this away. Okay. Um. Oh man, where's our hint one? Just a hint for later. <laughs> okay. That's an easy. Get out of here. Maybe we will actually do some murder real fast. Just because. Where's he at? Oh, that poor watcher. I didn't even see him. I accidentally killed him. Okay. We killed them all just because. I see. Oh. Statue. Haster statue. No clue if that's relevant or not, but we'll we'll take it. Take the free elite crafting table too. Do I need any of these? Any of these bricks of any kind? I don't think so. Eh, I'm not gonna worry about it. 
Okay, um, so yeah, so the search for the Eden gem was actually really easy. I have no idea where I got the demon hearts from. The Watcher, okay. Has he always dropped demon hearts? Yes. Yes, he has. <laughs> okay, no, yeah, that makes sense. I'm like, I don't feel like he has, but no, no, he definitely has. That's why we have 13 million of them. Neat. Also, Master Spell Producio, um, this just breaks anything, right? Oh, no, okay. I do want to say this breaks things. I want to say that's the, the purpose of this. Oh, guys, hold on one second. <laughs> little sister came in asking me if I knew where new nail clippers were. She somehow broke some with her nail. Kind of impressive. Um, I'm pretty sure Master Spell Prodicio is the breaker spell. So I want to say I can actually break this guy. Ha! <laughs> I can finally break the Blessed Stone. How many blocks can be broken by a Prodicio? Oh, wait. You know, there was totally, like, a scale or something somewhere. I, I want to say I saw the scale of the ancient heart block somewhere. Where would that have been? Did I ever make the call of the Arbiter? I don't remember. Um, we'll worry about that later on. Uh, so we got the Master Spell now. This can just sit in here, right? And I can just search Master Spell. Perfect. And we also have Master Spell Soul. I forget when the, the, what this one gave you. Um, like Lumium or something, I want to say. If I remember correctly, somewhere around there. <laughs> Not going to worry about it too much. Okay, so we got our Eden Chunk that we needed. Um, also, I don't know why I didn't mark this earlier. Alright, so... Dreadlands Power Stone is also done. So Appetite Singularity. Let's do that first. We can make the Pure Daisies after. And then we'll do all of the stuff for the Warp Stone. I think it sounds fair. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, it's only one Appetite, right? Yeah. Only one Singularity. I forget actually we have this guy here for this specific reason. Okay, it's already done. We'll let him do a stack of singularities. That's fine. That's our appetite singularity done. Uh, pure daisies. You know, actually, there's a there's a master spell cheat seat. I feel like one of them gave you per, like pure daisies in a decent amount too. Well done. Double checking. No, one of them gives you pure of flowers. I think that's what it is. I think it's the one I'm misremembering. Oh, one also gives you a massive block of living gold. <laughs> okay. Yeah, those they are. Um, alright, so pure daisies are going by hand. Mystical flower essence. White flowers. There we go. Four stacks of this. We need one stack of seeds. And if I'm not done, that really should be it, right?
That's my pure flower. Get that back. <laughs> um, hold up one second. Move my stuff around. Okay. This is better for my maintaining of the Twitch chat. <laughs> it does feel weird uh, having my OBS on that side though, but. It's a little tedious by hand. And I, I know I could automate it, um, and it wouldn't even be that hard, I don't think either, to be honest with you. You just need them to get dropped in order with seeds being last. Uh, it's pretty fast. Once we get this, we just need to do the stuff for the uh, like Evil Insight and Dynthos, I think. Hold on, actually. Okay. Uh, one demagnetizer. Can I just? I'm annoyed. <laughs> this is way easier. I realized whenever I dropped the seed a second ago, whenever I dropped uh, too many of them on accident, that it didn't get yoinked in. For some reason, I thought this one worked as well, where if you just dropped an item on top, it would take it. But it doesn't. There we go. Sack of pure daisies. Way, way easier that way. So, good to know. Um, so, we have all of this except for the warp stone. Um, we also need some terra steel. We need molten terra steel. We can get that going real fast, too. It was going to be 70 ingots worth. Oh, well, convenient, right? We'll make some more real fast. There we go. <laughs> Hi, Rimbauer. Put this guy to off. Can I... Hold on. Let's look. Is there a Terra Steel bucket? Okay, Molten Terra Steel sells. Okay, so we can use the cell on this and it'll work. That should be fine. And uh, this guy can melt to lava, right? Yeah. Alright, that'll be the Terra Steel. I just want to make sure that we got that started. We'll need to make sure we use some fluid cells to pull that out. Um, we'll have some extra jank, but we can just bump that into the tank after. And get rid of it. Um, our short mead is probably all done. Yep. Let's see if we can use cells on this. If so, that'd be pretty sweet. Nice. Yeah, I forget to use cells. They're way nicer than buckets because they stack. <laughs> it makes life a little bit easier this way. With the one exception, don't click them on a fluid tank, I think, <laughs> is what was stupid about them. Because um, there was still something, uh, I was saying like the candy dimension. It's like you get like a tank uh, that you're supposed to fill with whatever this stuff is, where it's like a nondescript thing. And one of these tanks that's completely full is meant to be used to craft something. I cannot for the life of me remember what it was. We filled up like the, the majority of a tank and then got screwed out of it. I was so annoyed. Yeah, this one to get the uh, sleeve wormhole. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I remember it well. Okay, that's our short mead cells. That's fine. It's actually it's in, since we're already just chilling here. Our terra steel is probably done. While I was yapping. Um, can I use a bucket to pull it out? Oh, I forget that it's going to technically burn me all the way from the top. Um, okay. 
Okay. Um. Let's just grab like a tank real fast then. Yeah, this tank will work. I actually think we can even just use the seared faucet on it. Yeah. It's a little slow with the seared faucet, but we'll just pour this out until it uh takes out all the tear still that we need. Should be fine. Sweet. Okay. That'll be all of that, and then all we're missing is the warp zone. So the claws array is going to need the four essences, from red string and obelidus. Um, I think we have an extra elemental essence. We have a lot of extra elemental essence, actually. Okay, nice. And um, I'm pretty sure we also have blaze clusters. Yeah, 65 of them, huge. Okay, perfect. Um, so we'll craft an obelidus. Manually, it shouldn't be an issue. That'll get us a claws array. Mm, I remember this is what the annoyance was about automating claws array was the uh, the essences for one are also annoying objectively because you need to do all the reagents for each one too, um, which does unfortunately take will. But the obelidus was a pen. <laughs> I want this guy to finish. <laughs> I just want to have it on me at this point. Uh, oh, back. <laughs> okay, perfect. Actually, can I put this down? Can I click on this with the uh, cells? No, okay, good enough. Neat. Uh, blaze cluster. Then we need an essence, specifically an Omethal essence. I already forgot what the last thing was. A shiny scale. We should have a million of those. Yeah, literally over a million of them already. I thought my thing wasn't working for some reason. I'm just bad. Get our Dreadlands power send that we'll need. Put these guys in. Ta da! I said it's a quick craft. Get our Oblitus. Going over here to our Blood Magic area. It's our alchemy table. Um, just to double check that we don't have a Claws Array, yeah. Do we have any of the essences? of anything. We have darkness. Is darkness need for claws array? Yes, okay, sweet. That saves us one of them. Alright, so we need helplessness, fear, and solitude, which needs um blood lamp, void, and swimming reagents. Mark all these guys too. Oh, we're also gonna need some red string. Some redstone blocks directly. Yep, we'll do it through this one. Okay, there's our four red string. Um, that guy back in there. Actually, I don't need him on me. Put the sword scanner up. Put uh, the cheater grab bags that way. Sweet. So we'll do fear. Let's get the stuff. Like all of the extra stuff for these actually real fast. Arcane Ashes. So we need any kind of white powder. We'll need Arcane Ashes for each, so we need two more sets of these. That's fine. Um, redstone, gunpowder, coal. Then we'll just use uh, we'll just use bone meal for the white powder. It should be fun. I was just making sure our bone meal supplies were still going up. Not in here. Wrong thing. Um. Then the Hellfire Forge. We're gonna move the forge over to the other side.
get our tartaric gem. We have a full greater gem in here, so this will be fine. Um, and we can always use our shuriken if we need more. <laughs> this guy has the will crystal on him for the effect, so. Perfect. Make two more of these. ODB cores or whatever they are, it's pretty easy. Table fabric, one, two, three. Otherworldly tears. Okay, nice. I'm happy I made excess at one point. I think I just made a whole stack of them because I'm like, oh, I'll probably need more of these later. Oh, thank, thank old me for having a brain. <laughs> Get our three dreadium plates. Okay, blood lamp will be glowstone torch and two redstone. I think it shows a glowstone block. Void is going to be shring shring gunpowder bucket. And then this one will be prismarine, fish, glass. Okay, we're going to need water first. Water, water, sugar. Then it needs um, prismarine, fish. I don't think these guys are caught. This guy will, though. There's many shards, which we have a ton of from the sirens now. The bottle. Sweet. Our swimming reagent. Okay, and then I think it's literally just a matter of throwing all of these guys. What are we missing? We're missing one part of these. Okay, it's the arcane ashes actually. So you put in the ashes and the reagent. Okay, perfect. This guy should allow us to craft the claws array. We get four of them, that's fine by me. All right, and now we need Malum, which will require us to make Evil Insight. Let's uh, take all of these guys off of our thing for now. <clears throat> evil Insight, what's this first one? Ebb of Death. All right, we don't have any Ebb of Death right now. One Claws Array on, actually we will, we'll just put them all in there, it doesn't matter. So Ebb of Death will be a Witch's Oven with Cypress Saplings. All right, I don't have any. I don't even know what a cypress tree looks like, to be honest with you. Um, let us do ourselves just a small bit of Googling. They occur naturally in the taiga and swamp biomes, according to the Bewitch Wiki. Nice and easy. Thousand blocks away, there's a taiga. I got this. Okay. 
flying over here to try and find a cypress tree. So apparently they also <laughs> they also appear in a bog. <laughs> um if anyone was curious. Oh, let's not do that. Grab one of their leaves as is and then uh There's a sapling. We grab a log too. Just to have it. Okay. So never mind. Um I just saw a weird looking tree. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you know, actually let's check. Like we're in a bog, you know, maybe that's like a swamp land uh categorized. Yes, yes it is. So it's funny when everything like that happen. Um with the spruce heart. Okay. We don't have any jars in here. That. We'll give it some more coal as well. Uh, just to confirm this. Yeah, okay. It'll it'll make an ebb of death eventually. I think it's just chance based. I, I would just like to see it do one so I could confirm. Yes, okay, sweet. Alright, Ep of Death is good. Um, Mithrilium plates. Do we have... We should have just a ridiculous amount of Mithrilium, right? 300 plates. Cool. We're gonna need all the lenses. Let's get our ceiling sigils first. We need four of these. Oh, we have to actually do these in an altar. It's kind of funny. Which astral sorcery thing is this? I do not actually remember. Let's grab our astral tome. I think if we shift right click this guy. You can look at all these manually, right? It's gonna be like a Fornax one. No, Fornax is very specific. Oh, which one is it? It's Dissidia. That's what that looks like it is. Which is fine. Pretty sure we have a Dissidia page in here. Um, so we will need a Dissidia attuned. If we don't already have one. We have Horlo game attuned and that's it currently. Dissidia. Okay, so Dissidia will be able to be made with Uh, I forget you need the you need the original attuned crystal as well. I kind of forgot about that part. It just doesn't get consumed. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get an Dissidia, a Dissidia attunement thing going. Let's grab one of these random uh, celestials. Um, okay, let's grab our staff traveling. Go up here. This doesn't feel right. I feel like it's showing way too many spots. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it's just not showing. 
Is it because it's not on its uh it's on a night cycle yet? Forgot I was making a chat detector to mess with this at one point. Just to see. There we go. Relays. Okay, I think that's it. Alright, so I guess we should go and see if the city is actually going to be out tonight. Um, no, okay. Skip 24. Go to the next night real fast. Um, that is Dissidia. Perfect. Okay. Come over here. Throw this guy in. Like, why does... Do I not have a demagnetize? I do! Why does this not work? Do I have to... Am I just gonna have to stand on this side? No, it's... You've gotta be shitting me. <laughs> why is this... He's at full range. What the fuck? Work, you bastard. Can I put him on top? Will he be fine right here without... Yeah, okay. Why can I not? What is going on? Alright. Where the fuck is my magnet? Turn shit off for a second. <laughs> That's so buggy. I can't even tell if it's getting infused or not. Okay. Now it's getting infused, obviously. So when we need that is, um, I'd have been so sad if there was one attuned in here. I'm like, I didn't feel like I did one with the city yet, but still, you need these to craft with the altar. We actually haven't made another <laughs> iridescent altar yet either. Thank you, Amelia Colian, for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to stream. We haven't actually made an additional uh, iridescent, so we're just going to yoink this guy for our craft. I'm trying not to break everything on accident. I want to turn this back on before I forget about it. Go back in there. Okay. Stop traveling. Yink. This guy here. Um, we'll grab our good old Decidio tuned. Alright. Back to what we're doing. So we need some sealing sigils. So nocturnal powder, glass lens, stardust. We have a little bit of nocturnal powder now. Oh yeah, how much, uh... Holographic ore. Oh, nice. We're down a hundred thousand. <laughs> Cause we're still mining more as it's processed. Um I would assume our rhenium. Yeah, our rhenium supplies are also down just a little bit. But we do have four hundred and thirty one rhenium catalysts. Um, I don't know who you are, and I don't know why you would send me a request on Discord. 
I, I see the request. I'm not sure why you would do that. Uh, if I had to guess, you're either a scammer or you're selling art, and uh, I'd prefer to avoid both of those. So I appreciate the offer, but I think I'm good. Let's grab some glass lenses. Um, we need some stardust. And then we already got our nocturnal powder. Should be as easy as shift clicking this. And then get our resiny wand. Nice, okay. It made six at once because that's how much I had for. Do I need this for anything else? Um. Why does it say this may be dangerous? Am I get, is there like a multi response? Maybe there's multiple things that can come out of this. If so, I'd like to know if I need to make multiple of these evil insights. We'll make a we'll make multiple of everything we're doing for this. But it's kind of a pain with things like this being needed. What the fuck? <laughs> what kind of fucking chain of nonsense is this? <laughs> okay, well, so my hope is that none of these are needed in multiple quantities. Because if that's the case, this is going to get really annoying with how much there's already in this little chain. Because I'm going somewhere? Um, That means nothing to me. <laughs> I still don't see how that would be relevant to asking me for a Discord message. I have no idea who you are. Um, I didn't already make a crazy lily, right? No, I didn't think so. I know that we have extra tattered scrolls. I forget where we got them from. Polytop, Omethal, Greater Gaia. Polytops. All essence. Um, why is our polytop so low? Actually, unrelated note. We have six thousand seeds, so we are obviously farming it. Um, if I had to guess, it is not. It's in one of these danks, and it's not sectioned, or we have something consuming it all. We're gonna do a quick little perusal real fast and look for our holly top. Just to confirm, we have platinum. Ooh, no, we don't. Damn. What is all consuming platinum? Like, this obviously consumes some platinum. Not much of it. Also, I kind of feel like this isn't working. My manual one. This guy's the one that gets the platinum fed in, I think, as well, right? No? Yeah, it is. So the platinum blood. What is using so much platinum? Okay, I see what's happening. We're pulverizing it. Um. Hmm. I was hoping it'd be like just right here somewhere. Getting automatically pulverized. Ah. That's Basal's stuff. Sulfur and her dolomite, that's fine. What do I need platinum dust for? Sorry, this is a small detour. I'm just trying to see what's happening to my system. I know I need, okay, so I need some for the Enderium.
Am I pulverizing my whole platinum supply for uh, Enderium? <laughs> and making things with spaghetti and it being a while makes it difficult to keep up with things like this. I will be honest. I presume I did endear him on this level. It's all the specialty alloys. Some obsidian pulverizer. Um. Gonna be honest. Um, I got no idea where I would have done it at. Because it is not immediately apparent. I don't think I did Enderium down here. Like this is um for our automation of cryostabilized flux stocks. Um, these guys are lens automations as needed. They're both fine. I don't think it's made over here. You know, honestly, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> I... I don't know how I'm gonna find it. But I... We'll probably eventually figure it out on whatever the issue is, so we'll worry about that. Not right now. Um, anyways. Crazy lilies. I was originally going to figure out Holly Top. That's actually what happened. I was going to see if we had any in here. If it was just being uh, located in a one that didn't have a space for it. Doesn't look like it though. Okay, anyways. This is in the runic altar. Let's get a living rock. And our wand of the forest. Right there. Okay. We got our crazy lily. So, I have no idea. Um, like what this is going to do. So we're going to do this right here. Standing on a block of obsidian, looking east. It says same level as floor, so I would assume it means underneath me. We'll do a little 3x3 three three instead. Okay, yeah, I can click this a bunch. Good to know. That gives me uh, hope for the other ones as well. Alright, so this guy needs to get uh, with Kalos inside of a thing. Uh, let's put away the crazy lily before we somehow lose it.
I clicked that one there because I didn't think that one was going to be scary. But I, it does say this may be dangerous. <laughs> so, that's what it means by this may be dangerous. There is a mob spawn capability on those. That is, that is good to know for the other ones. That scared the hell out of me. I was like, oh man, hopefully this isn't something nonsense. Whatever it spawned in, I was really expecting some uh, base breaking to happen, which was going to be very unfortunate. Okay, we got human imperfection. Now we need to infuse this. It needs 10 Infernum and 30 Diabolos. Um, I want to say we actually already have... Oop, that's like Dread. That's the sword one. Wait. I think that's what we need, right? 30 Diabolos and 10 Infernum. 24 Infernum. 39. Perfect. Okay, sweet. We don't have to do anything funny about that. We need a Sigil of Failure, a Demon Heart, Oil of Vitriol, and a Pentacle. Yeah, we have a pentacle. Figured we probably wouldn't have an oil of vitriol. I don't remember making it, so. Cloud oil, gunpowder, dragon's blood, and iron nugget. I want to say that we do have some cloud oil in here. Yes, perfect. And a gunpowder. Go and <coughs> throw this on into our distillery. Up oh, some more otherworldly tears too. Perfect. Then we're gonna need citral failure. Oh. Okay, so we need five of these actually. Um, and the iron nuggets, right? <clears throat> there you go. This will make us five oils of vitriol. We'll need some black dye. Will this ink sacks work for this? Yeah. Ink sacks, dragon's blood, paper, and rose red. Central table. Put some paper out. Six. Those will be the four things of vitriol. Okay. So that is our one central failure, our one oil of uh, vitriol. Then we have demon hearts in the ME system. Just a couple of them, as we were talking about earlier. And we have the pentacle. Okay, sweet. <clears throat> I love how I like keep putting the levers on these guys, and then I never actually them off. This has been a consistent problem of mine, I've noticed. Like, oh, you know, like, yeah, just a little torturino near this guy, and then we'll have a lever on it so I can, like, make sure it's not just ticking the whole time. And then I just, I never actually untick it. Oh, uh, there it is. Call it, and go. Thank you for the follow, uh, King Ebo Pay. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Uh, there we go. That is our embraced imperfection. All right. So we have the embraced imperfection. Well, the Ebbs of Death should be uh, chilling. We made the ceiling sigils. We have the Mithrilium. We have the demonic um, ingots of all the kinds. We just by chance found those while we were working on this. Um, I know that we have some of the lenses. We have the ability to craft the spectral lens, so we'll make one more of these automatically through a crafting system. Surely this is going to be a pain, right? Ah, uh, okay. No, that, make, that makes total sense. I'm like, why is this not crafting? Um, for one, put the city in there. <coughs> I 
Give this guy his um, iridescent altar back. There we go. Now he'll make his lens. Let's look at the other lenses and stuff that we need real fast too. Okay. Your SVs do I have in here? Four, eight, okay, nice. All right, so we, we should actually be able to put all of the other lens recipes in here then I think. I don't have to actually do these by hand. Save. Iron pickaxe. And then once it crafts the last one ignition, that should be it, right? Uh, and then one normal clear lens, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Sorry, I'm trying to trying to sort out my inventory enough that I can guarantee I have everything needed for these. <coughs> okay, so there's the embraced imperfection. All eight lenses around it. We're going to need eight mithrilian plates. We did the bolt craft of just the three hundred earlier, that's fine. All these off our list. Celian sigils, we need four. steel ingot so that we can get the specialty kinds, one of each. All five of the demonic ingots. We need our four ebbs of death and I think that's it, right? Yeah. Oh. Linear table too. Come with me. Go over here. Or these guys are the rest in there, that'll be fine. Okay, table, um, the city attunement, click the sigil in. Resonating wand it. Ah. I love that. I'm going to just... Okay. Hold on. RNG. Ha! Okay, we're getting lucky with the other ones. Because you need the right ingot in the right spot. Um, and I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out because they all look like iron ingots. But there we go. Evil insight. This may be dangerous. Um. So yeah, we're going to do this. <laughs> I don't know. Like somewhere over here. I'm floating a little bit. What did I get? Okay, that's easy. And I'm just going to leave all the loot on the floor. Alright, so these are infinitely clickable, which is really, really nice. So Dynthos is probably also. But, that gets us our Malum for clicking that guy. This crafts with the claws array that we made earlier to make a Dynthos. And the Dynthos should give me pure warp. Ah! <laughs> okay, Shoggoths.
the Shoggoth is extermination method. We should destroy these. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I'll just spam click uh, all my warp out, and I thought about it, and I'm like, oh no, if I if I let these guys build up too much, they're gonna like build their stupid nest or whatever as well. Get a bunch of statues. <laughs> a little ridiculous, but it was pretty funny, so I'll take it. Okay. Um, and that's not even enough. We still need five more clicks. Oh, you know what the actual strat is? Hold on. Okay, that's kind of wild. Um... So, for one, I'm just surprised I don't have a point in here. Okay. For two, best place to click it. Yeah, I like this method. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we have a lot of pure warp. Um, this gives you warp stone. You need one for a shadow fracture. We'll only need four for this. Okay, so we don't really need any more than we already did just now. But if we do, we can always make more. This goes around some divine rock. That'll be fine. Throw all this junk in our ME. Love doing that. One, two, three, four. Four warp stone. Beautiful. Let's uh, head on back home. Put our ender book away. Okay, not bad, not bad. So, let us look back at everything we need for the purity offer. I think we have all of it now. Let's get ourselves our four stacks of transmuting comb. We need our stack of pure daisies. We have our dreadlands power stone already. We have our four warp stone. We get our four vibrating stone. Uh, let's grab into our appetite singularities over here. Let's um disable this guy. <laughs> okay, I don't know why that didn't actually take it out of there. I must have just not clicked it right. Um, okay, we have a couple of extra appetite singularities. I guess hopefully we need them for something later. And I think that's it, plus the tank of terror steel and the short meat cells that we have on us as well as our two fluid inputs for 10 buckets worth, and this should be fine. These are the output sides, so these should be the fluid input sides. So one of these will get 10 short meat cells. And this one will get as much as it can of this. And then I'll take that little bit of excess out and get rid of it. And then our big item input will just require all of these. What are we missing? Oh, we didn't get our Eden Refined Gem out of here. Here he is. That should be it. Perfect. 600,000 RF. Um, this is also going to take 500 seconds. Okay, so we got to find something else to do for like 8 minutes. That's fine. So purity offer is being made. That's pretty sweet. <clears throat> okay, purity offer will go next to the daisy. <sighs> and this will be... This will make the Ragnarok sigil. 
Craft the right combination of crystal clusters. The temple in the abyss will guide you. What were they? Do I have the abyss in here? Um, just to confirm, I'm pretty sure the abyss it's talking about is... We go into the Book of the Worlds. Um, yeah, okay. So it's going to be one of these ones. So in the actual abyss. So there's a temple in abyss that apparently will guide us on the hints required here. So we'll go and check that out. I get, we got eight minutes to kill. We might as well. Um, If I can't figure it out in that time, then uh, it is what it is and we'll... Look it up. Otherwise, oh, man. I forgot how red this place was. So, we're looking for a temple that will guide us with crystal clusters. That is what has been stated, at least. Illusions altar. It's like a spawning altar. Um, let's grab ourselves a scanner as well. So if there is a structure that seems a little funky. Oh wait, that's a temple. Oh. Methane, copper, nitrate, and oxygen. <laughs> and okay. Oh wait. That's why that's why I knew what this structure was actually. It's because um, I know about something else about the structure too. For one, we're going to take this free guy. Where's our another right pick? Come with me. Come on now. But also, if you go into the roof here, I remember I did this just because I was curious about something. Yeah, there was the Oblivion Death Bomb in here. I thought that was pretty funny. Oh my god, and the Oblivion Death Bomb just reminded me of something completely different. Um, There is a funny... A very, very funny thing, actually, where you can... No, my methane. What did I say? What did I say? What were the, what were the clusters? <laughs> okay, copper, oxygen, methane... Copper, oxygen, methane. Um, I already forgot. <laughs> uh, incredible of me, by the way. Thanks, I'll take the free gold singularity as well. Um, okay. I wonder if there's another temple. In close range. Um, I could always just clip my stream if I wanted to. <laughs> to see it. Or take a guess on the last one. Can't imagine it's going to be that hard to find. Also, I do remember seeing people talk in the Discord about these guys. Having. Like a. Some kind of like Shire Stone. Here or something. I don't remember if it was. It was something EMCable. Doesn't really look like it though. Hey, you skittle for the follow. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Let's go and find a. Let's go and find another temple real fast. <laughs> I can't believe I broke them, and I in that short moment, I forgot which ones it was. And like I could trial and error for the last one probably, and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But uh, <laughs> let's go and look at. Oh, there we go. That was easy. We found one immediately. No biggie. What was it? Nitrate, alright, that would have been pretty far down the list. Copper, methane, nitrate, oxygen. We'll put all four of them in there. 
<laughs> get a get our extra free powers in again. We'll also take the death bomb out of this one as well, just because it's kind of funny. Give it the death bomb. Then we'll uh, break this to get all these crystallized clusters. These are useful. Um, you're gonna need to melt some of these down for things later. So just grabbing the free ones whenever they're available is fine. I'm not even gonna take those energy relays. I don't really need them for anything. Oh, there's another here. Since it's right here, we might as well, right? But yeah, and then um, our stuff should be. What did that scare? I was watching him. I was watching him the whole time. I have no idea why I flinched. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That is quite a lot. That should be plenty for our trip to the abyss. Hey, how are you? What's up? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? <sighs> Alright, this guy can go back in here. Let's go and check the status on this. It's probably been about five minutes? It, maybe it's been the whole eight already. No, okay. I'm right. It's been 400 seconds. <laughs> so, I was a little bit off still, but it wasn't quite the full amount. So about another minute and a half. And that will give us the Aesir tribute. Which we just throw on into the Elven portal to get the Orchid. The Orchid. You do get a... <sighs> multiplier. Using some Arkansone and Mithrilium. You want to make more of them, which is fine. I don't think that's bad. Uh, I guess Mithrilian Catalyst actually takes Shadow Fracture stuff. Mm, it's kind of a pin. It's game D stream mostly. Um, currently Minecraft. It used to be League. I used to only stream exclusively League for a long time. Down to our last 20 seconds. Very nice. Very nice. Let's get our crystal clusters out. Doo -doo. Put up these extra cells as well. Oh, I forgot all the Shoggoths. Um, actually, let's grab a sanity checker. I just want to see what our sanity is first. Should be in here somewhere, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's not great. <laughs> My guy's going a little bit insane. Use our Umbethal Warp Cleanser. Get that out of here. And there we go. There's our Purity Offer. We need to go and <coughs> put this guy by a Pure Daisy. We'll actually just take one of these extra four out that we have. Uh, we'll just plant it like right here. Be good. That shouldn't take too, too long. Great, where are you from? Um, I'm from Texas. Wait for this guy to grow, and then we'll craft him with these four crystal clusters, and that should be fine. That'll give us our Aesir tribute. We should be able to just drop on up here, and then uh, get this done as well. Also, we should probably disable this Rhenium Catalyst, shouldn't we? Because eight of the... <laughs> Like, we don't really need that many of these. We'll need some for the Apishi Warper, but, uh... And that's, that's not many, you know? Like... <laughs> and then you use 8 per Eden Star. And one Eden Star gives you 16 buckets of Cosmic Matter. So, we've got, like, a little bit ridiculous amounts of them. <laughs> It's a good place I'm from the USA. Uh, your typing makes me think otherwise, but I give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Grab these four around. AC your tribute. <laughs> Alright, you're running the same script as everyone else. I, I don't want channel art. <laughs> I don't. I'm good. <laughs> 
<laughs> I do not, I do not want it. I do not need it. What else is this? Therefore, he's more. <laughs> Interesting. Not my problem. I'll worry about that later. Okay. So the Mithrilian Catalyst and stuff is going to be kind of annoying later. The Catalyst is definitely going to be the easier method, huh? Because I don't think getting more of these purity offers is... Well, I, actually, they're not really that expensive. Oh, no, they kind of are. Because they even refine gems, you'd have to find more of them. Which I guess isn't that bad, but they're objectively the hardest part about this. Because the warp zone's easy now that we already have the Dynthos. Um, we just spam it over the void, we get more warp stone, that would be no problem. Uh, vibrating stones, EMC, pure daisies are easy. Yeah, so running this again with the clusters would probably be the easiest way. <laughs> no, I'm good. I don't, I don't want any. I don't want any emotes. <laughs> Spare me. Spare me from it, please. Uh, I'm gonna get like five more people coming in here throughout my day that are <laughs> that are trying to sell me art. I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't want it. Um. Okay. <clears throat> so I know that he converts just normal stone. Trying to think about how to do this. Could do a, a multi-builder setup. <clears throat> Could do a multi-builder setup right here, actually. <clears throat> Couldn't we? Or you do like... I'm surprised I never encoded... A... Oh, wait, I did. <laughs> I just missed that, I guess. <clears throat> I was like, I'm surprised I never encoded a recipe. If we get some cards... R of tools. <clears throat> so we get a normal shape card to build a slot. And then we get a quarry card. To clear the slot. Then we get ourselves some stone. Some actual smooth stone. It'll be all the way to the side. It was one of the first things you learned. What if we do like, I don't know. I don't know what the range on this plant is, to be honest with you. This will probably be pretty good, though. How do I make him into a floating variant? <coughs> uh, pasture seeds, a flower, and a piece of dirt. Eh. Oh, okay. Just grass. Can I give me just give me a flower? Not a piece of dirt. Does it have to be the glimmering version? Okay. <laughs> there we go. If we do this floating one, combine this guy with the orchid, it'll make us a floating orchid, so we don't need to put a piece of dirt underneath it. So we should be able to put it next to this mana pool. I want to say. And then it should just be a matter of... I think this will be fine. That was louder than I expected. <laughs> oh, let's grab our two builders. <clears throat> builder and a builder. That guy's card out. We'll put our silk quarry in here. Like 
first corner, select the second corner, copy them into the shape card, love that. Then get our Cory one. Um, click him, first corner, second corner, copy to the shape card, get them here. If I put an EMC link on top of this guy, write it with stone. Cool. And then if I give this guy his own container, <coughs> um, I guess it could currently be a dank seven and we can organize out of the dank seven. Oh, and then we will give him a filter as well. Nope, wrong kind of filter. Uh, RF tools filter. This is on a blacklist. I'll need power, so we do flux points, we'll do one product, just cause. Uh, hold on. Um, this guy will be a clearing quarry. My bad. Oh, actually, no, nah, no, nah, th this should be fine. Okay. I think keep running with the red sun signal. If I click that on, I can just uh give both of these guys a lever as well. Um, what's happening is that this guy. No, it should be on blacklist. Oh, blacklist. Okay. You shouldn't mine stone anymore. At all. Now, if I get a lever, you should mine everything but stone, right? Perfect. All right, beautiful. And then this guy will spit all of his results in above him. <laughs> and then this guy. Can be sped up with the torch. And it could be sped up even more than this. It's loud. It's very loud. Um, so while I spare you guys from the audio for a second, it does make Arkenstone. <laughs> <coughs> and it is it is tick acceleratable. That makes us three Arkenstone right there. Already. Um
that's what will be needed to start the process. So a grinder with dragon's blood into a grinder with aerial moonshine into a grinder with living gold knack into a grinder with weakened cryotheum into a grinder with luminous lava um, yeah which we're, we're making all of this for the other things already into it with spicy <coughs> spicy pyrothium and then that guy will give us the recursive powder that's a lot of industrial grinders though <laughs> I will be honest um, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal outside of that. <sighs> okay. Let's um, count how many grinders this is. So we've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I, I think this one would be the 7th, right? Gosh, I can't do math now. Once I get one, I can make a botanical dream stone. And I can just run those with pure daisies instead. And then get Arkenstone um, in much quicker and larger quantities. So I'll keep that in mind. Um, one. This will be two. This will be three. This will be four. This will be five. This will be six. Okay, there's six, not seven. That's fine. That's not too many. It's not a ridiculous amount. Um, it's pretty good though. We will also need to go and pull the liquids from. Uh, let's turn our sound back on. Back up to our good old thirty-three percent. There we go. Just put that on a on a one block range for the limiter there, just because it's a little loud. <laughs> <laughs> but he does make very consistently, so that's sweet. Okay. Let's go all the way up here. Um, it should be in. Chapter 4 fluid, I would assume. This is where I'll have all of these, yeah. Because, yeah, this is Luminous Lava, Dragon's Blood, Spicy Pyrothium, Weakened Cryrothium. The issue is I don't know if I could get six things in here for Arkenstone production to try and utilize them all in the same one without uh, using a bunch more Ender Tanks. And there's the aerial moon shrine. So that's one, two, three, four, five. What's missing? What flavor has not been done for this? Golden knack mixture. Here's the sixth. Hmm. <sighs> I know that the grinders can wall share. Wait, can I do... Is that possible? I I never even considered it before, but it's a very real possibility, I want to say. That we could just use multiple grinders on the same multi? I'm not sure if they fight each other for the for the slot. Cause like we have we have grinders stacked that are wall shared right here. But could I have just done just the one block and just put the other grinder on the side wall of this one? I have no idea. <laughs> <coughs> I 
Because it shows, you know, in this it's showing like, oh, you can put it on any one of the sides. That's what this is. I, I'm pretty sure that's what this is showing. But this might also be the case that I might be able to put an industrial grinder on each side of this grinder. Or will they have to be wall shared? I'm not really sure. I don't know, standard machine casing, really? Um, that's kind of crazy to me. I think I know everything else for this underneath it, so... Let's grab this guy real fast. Throw him into a molecular. Um... Nether sky, um... Cold iron dimensional essence. The cold iron supplies are finally re-existing again. Make our 200 casing. Then I guess our reinforce doesn't have a crafting recipe either. Also interesting. Just surprised I never did these. Um, do I want to use the advanced? Okay, advanced machine rates are on autoed. We have everything for these. They're made out of the basics. So you cut needing the standard machine casing out and they make it a better multiplier. So we'll do it through this recipe. Put him in a different uh, molecular. That'd be fine. <coughs> casing reinforced. Um, how do we need per grinder? We need eight per grinder. So make like 30 in total. This guy gets Thirty is probably still more than we need. We'll we'll do thirty two. We'll do a multiplier of eight. Okay. So it needs to know the grinder. And it also needs to know the actual industrial grinder itself. I think everything else in here already had a pattern. That's what it said. <coughs> cool. So we're going to need uh, six of these. Perfect, thanks. This is the beauties of an ME system. It is pretty, pretty incredible. It's impressive to know that something like this, like that people have just modded this kind of stuff into a game. <laughs> Especially whenever it starts getting to like scale, where you're starting to do really, really big things. It's uh, it's always just so impressive knowing that people just had to get a time to get that to work. Like, I'm not a fan of it, but Greg Tech New Horizons is an extremely impressive just everything <laughs> they they have done an exceptionally uh good job okay so first things first we're just gonna build one right here just for testing purposes because if i can do four just around the same block <laughs> that will be funny for one and also I think that'll get what we need done in that same cube so I don't have to bring it elsewhere. <sighs> ok, 
God damn. I don't know why I never considered this before. And it just, it kind of annoys me actually that I didn't. Because of the other setups I've done with grinders so far. And especially whenever the grinders were really expensive to set up. That's what really makes me annoyed. Because <laughs> like... In here, like, I got... Th this was way more reinforced machine casing than I needed. It ended up a little bit cleaner this way, but like... Or like this one. I could have had just this guy in the middle with the guy on the left and the guy on the right, and that's it. I am just terribly sad. <laughs> also, I get so many CCL exceptions in here, so we'll leave here quickly. But <clears throat> Still, um... I guess, you know, like, now we know. So, it, it is what it is. It's fine. <clears throat> so, let's try to get it to fit in here somehow. <laughs> Man, pretty sore. <clears throat> Alright, so... Arkenstone. We can pump the other ones into the system and pull it out of this interface, I guess, if we felt like it. Uh, that interface is kind of annoying, actually. Oh, we can pull out of this one, though. No problem. This is platinum, guaranteeing indium dust. What else indium dust even used for? Am I just accruing? Do I just have a ridiculous amount of this indium dust as well? Okay, yeah, that's where another 2.8 million platinum is gone. Good to know. Oh, wait, did I make endearium in here? <laughs> I don't think so, but... Yeah, no, I, I, I don't think it did. Pretty sure I didn't. Anyways. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's figure this out. So, we're gonna need at least two structures of, like, setup for this, which will be fun. I did it somewhere, like, right here. We could use some extras like this to partially wall share and then extend off the wall sharing. Um, and so what I mean by that is these will be two separate ones. So we could get one there, one there. So two, three, four, that would only give us five. So we'd be wasting it because the other side wouldn't fit it properly. If we move it one more over to this side, then we could get a six on the edge. And that'd be the total size. It'd be less efficient for the casings, but do I really care that much anymore? Probably not. I think we move it all one block over, yeah. That gives me this edge back. Put all these in. In theory, every single one of these guys should be what's considered a complete multi-block. And then we can just do a loop. And we can also feed them all with their liquids individually in order. <coughs> and we have just enough space to squeeze above these and through this area still. It's not horrible. Okay. <laughs> Should be interesting. Arkenstone. Arkenstone's gonna give us Rupee, Arlemite, Relmite. So I figure idea is I'll use conduits to do what is specifically needed from them over into uh the next one. So like this one is gonna send the really hard rocks to the one to the right. But I want the um I want the Arlemite, Relmite, Rupee and stuff to go just into the system. 
So those will get sent to the system, and since you can individually sort by slot in the uh, Tech Reborn machines, it should be pretty easy. And then this one, it'll send the really hard rocks over to the next grinder. That one will make the unidentified Norris relics, um, and the Rosite Emberstone will just go down. These relics will go, and then the Runium Chunks and Charged Runium Chunks will just go down into the system. Then the Azir Gemstone will go. Sedanite Dust <coughs> will just go into the system. Then the Bifrost Gems will go. And then the Bifrost uh, Dust will just go over. And then we'll get the Recursive Powder and the Draconic Dust, which will all go into the system. And maybe we round robin some Bifrost Dust, because uh, each gem will give us two. So we round robin it, one Bifrost Dust turns into Recursive Powder. How much Recursive Powder do we need, actually, before I start worrying about round robining this? We need one per run of this. This would give us the basic Garnets. We need some for the Perfected Gem, for the Recursion Focused Gems. Need a few. Okay, so our demand for the recursive powder itself isn't that high, so it could totally be split. That would be fine. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, yeah, so we can split the Bifrost gems across. That shouldn't be a problem. Just so that uh, we can melt half of this into the FN evanescent bifrost and then that'll give us like a ridiculous uh, set of night throughput <clears throat> which we could also do in here <sighs> okay um, let's start Arkenstone it's gonna need dragon's blood plastic and Arkenstone input so we're gonna need All right, we're gonna need a few things. Um, let's go back out real fast. So what I should do. I don't think there's that many results from the Orchid that like uh, that are unique at least. That we don't already get from something else. Um, and so what I'm essentially saying is I'm not that worried about this going directly in the Amy system. <laughs> Let's get ourselves an Ender Chest. Get one of our purple white whites. This is our depository ones. This guy should still just go in and feed, no problem. Just drop all these on the floor. We'll just manually put them into the system and anything else that gets uh, done will go in here automatically. I wanted this to run for a little bit to see like how many total types and stuff there were, see if it was anything ridiculous um, and it, it wasn't so. Here we go. And this will give us the Arkenstone to properly use from an interface. <laughs> inside the cube, that'll be fun. Could be a little bit quicker, but I'm not going to worry about that too much for now. Um, I think that's it. Uh, do we have anything else we need to do out here before I go in? I don't think so. I think anything, any machines and stuff that we need, we can just call in as well. Or we can just craft like while we're in here. This will be fun. Um, for one, we're going to swap our little spawn over here. There you go. Um, and the first thing I want to do is use a phantom face. I got some more of these two. Let's connect it to this interface. Arkenstone, request it here. Get a conduit. 
Good old filter. Insert filter set to Arkenstone. This guy will be input from the left. Extract always. Sweet. Okay. And that fills him with all 13 that we have in the system for now. Okay. This guy will need Dragon's Blood Plastic. I'm trying to think about how I want to do these efficiently, <laughs> or uh, like moderately TPS efficiently at least, you know? I don't want to cause a ton of lag. I could I could use phantom faces, like uh, liquid faces. Okay, let's make like 30 more of these. Oh, enderfall blocks. Just feed the system an inventory worth of these. Be fine. I will make 50 more of them. Uh, liquid face. Okay. This will probably be easier than the spaghetti I was about to do um, for these. <laughs> so let's grab uh, some ender fluid conduits. For one, let's make a lot more of these. There you go. You move our bow and stuff out of the way. Um, all right, so this first one's gonna need dragon's blood. So if I do a liquid face, enter fluid conduit, we do our configuration to our Kind of interesting, actually. They don't have a configuration slot now that I think about it for the fluid, but that, that doesn't matter. It'll just we'll just do it through the top. So this first guy will be to Dragon's Blood Plastic. Damn, that was instant. Uh, turn this guy off on insert. That'll be fine. <laughs> uh, let's get a flex point. Uh, conduit again. We'll grab crystallines. There should be plenty of power throughput for these. Do it like a little spider web, essentially. Actually, this is probably nicer. Um, disable all of that. If I connect these together and then do them in just the center one, this will block a little bit less. <laughs> it's still going to be pretty annoying. Um, yeah, this will this will make it a bit more annoying because of how everything else is going to work down here. Um, that's it's fine. It doesn't really matter that much. I think we can still work around it all. Only have to do it one major time at least. That this guy too are in. Okay. And this guy is running. <laughs> Speaking of connection, actually, the way that we could deposit the extras from all of these is actually have them pipe out the bottom and all into one ender chest together. Mm, this is always so fun to work with. Conduit uh, bundles and whatever. Okay. Get out of my way. 
So this guy, we will set, <coughs> this can go to the bottom, the bottom, the bottom. But this major one only goes to the right. This guy will be on extract. This guy will be on insert. His input for this will be from the left. Cool. And so he'll only get really hard rocks. Really hard rocks inside of here need aerial moonshine. We'll put another liquid face right next to this guy. Link the aerial moonshine container. <clears throat> the ender fluid conduit. <clears throat> Okay, this guy at the bottom. And this major one will go out the right. This next guy will receive from the left. Then we need our present hammer. Don't want this to be attached to anything else. Gotta be on extract. This gotta be on insert. This guy will get Unidentified Norris relics, which are going to need living gold knack solution. Um, of which we can put right here. Because I, I don't want to put it right there and then deal with this conduit being weird or whatever. <clears throat> living gold knack solution should be right here. Uh, right here. Put this conduit on. <clears throat> there we go. So I'm gonna make Nuris relics. So these runium chunks will go down, these ones will go down, these charged chunks will also go down. But the Azir gemstones will go to the right to the next one. Like this. Insert only. Extract always. This guy from his left side will take his input. He's going to get the Azir gemstones. These need weakened cryothium, which we can put uh, right here. I'll turn that conduit off. It doesn't matter, but I just like doing things like that for uh, simplicity's sake. Also consistency. Connect him here. There we go. He gets his weakened cryothium. <coughs> this guy will give me a night dust. And Bifrost Gems. Sedna Knight will go down. Sedna Knight will go down. Bifrost Gems will go out to the right. Electric Toys. Insert. This guy will insert from the left side. He's got Bifrost Gems. <clears throat> he needs Luminous Lava. So let's put our Liquid Face here. Actually, break this real fast. Turn that extract off. Could have done it from the bottom, but I feel like that was pretty quick. Luminous lava was this one. Then we give him a fluid conduit. <clears throat> this guy will process our bifrost gems into bifrost dust. Now, we will just, it's only the one result. We'll send this to the right. Just making sure that cable isn't connected to anything else. We're gonna put one here. We need to detach this cable. There we go. <laughs> Insert here. Round robin enabled on this guy. Extract always active. This guy will insert from the left. Hop on Stalker 2. I've heard it is so unoptimized right now. <laughs> I have not heard um, anything good about its performance. This is our Bifrost Dust. So we just need to feed this one spicy pyrothium and that will give us our recursive powder. I wanna say spicy pyrothium is this one.
I'm running all on low. It is fucking grim. <laughs> and every time you launch, <laughs> you get it's doing shaders. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> sounds like, uh, sounds solid to me. <laughs> and then, uh, this is our recursive powders. And we also get draconic dust from this, um, which does, doesn't really matter to us, to be honest. <laughs> but, I guess we'll have it at least. Just, just because. <laughs> That's whatever. But all of these guys we can go out and down. Okay. And then this guy is round robined nice and sufficiently at this point too. So the extra Bifrost dust can go into that system. We'll get that cycled in a second. Let's um let's just get an ender chest that's down here. This is our dump ender chest once again. I put him in the most difficult spot, whatever, hands fine. Insert, and now we go and set all of these guys to extract always on. Always. Extract always. Let's double check that it's gonna take all the byproducts. It's taking these, it's taking these. There's none in here. Oh wait, nice, yeah, because it's taking them, perfect. This one won't have any, and this one is getting all of them. Okay, beautiful. Um, dying drops frames, but if you die enough, it resets. It's so weird, I don't know if it's because shit respawned. Um, yeah, no, no, that's that's pretty odd, yeah, that if <laughs> the more you die, the, the more you lag, until you die enough, it's a difficulty increase. It's like a respawn penalty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that that's pretty odd. Um, this recursive powder doesn't need to go into anything else, right? Not anything automatically, at least in here, right? Yeah, no, it going into the system's fine. All right, Bifrost dust. It needs to go into a melter, into a fluid infuser with sedanite dust. Into a rock crusher into a pressurizer. Uh, melter, fluid infuser, two, one, ta-da! Where's my craft? Oh, of course, right as I was gonna look at it and see why it was slow. Um, rock crusher. Really? Oh, I, I think the Rock Crusher actually had a basic recipe, so I never automated it. Yeah. I'll make these on demand in a minute anyways. That's how I'm treating it. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was helping this group of AI kill dogs after we killed them. I turn around, they all just drop dead. I don't know how, but it just feels like a modern day Skyrim with guns. <laughs> yeah, I, be I believe it. Rock Crusher, Pressurizer. I, I was like, there was one more thing. There we go. <laughs> okay. So, we'll bring the power up into this one as well. We're going to bring it up one more just so that we're past the uh, fluid cables. This guy right here. Let me touch this. <laughs> God damn it. Why am I in so much spaghetti? <laughs> can I get to this ever? Oh, nice. I can. All right. Insert. This guy should now get half the Bifrost. He'll start his melting process. We'll grab him some upgrades. That'll be upgrades for all the machines. It's fine. Okay. This guy will be a melter. He will get... I'm just going to push with him into the fluid infuser, right? Yes.
Get off of this. Okay, I was worried that he was gonna get a bunch of eutetic knack. <laughs> that would have been a pen. <laughs> okay, sweet. So he's got the Evanescent Briar Thrust. We're gonna need to feed him with the other stuff too. That'll be fine. This stuff goes directly into a Rock Crusher, so we'll feed this guy also out to the left on a push. This guy will feed also out to out to the left on a push. We're actually gonna reset these to only have that output. There we go. Now this guy will just be a pressurizer, which will uh push to the front. So then if we use a phantom face, <coughs> we link it to this guy, we're going to need Sedanite Dust. Of which we're going to we're gonna end up with some extras from the system, right? Yeah, we get a couple from this. Yeah, I'll only need one Sedanite Dust per, what is this, 10 Sedanite? Yeah, I can do math, huge. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. This will be fine. This will probably have some slowdown, but I think that's okay. Some Sedanite Dust, put him here. And then this guy will get his connection to the Fluid Infuser. Is the Fluid Infuser? Yes. Insert, get a filter. Set the night dust. Electric toys. Oh, forgot to actually link this to the interface. And then it is just a matter of, um, for one, upgrades. And for two, just connect this cable up and over. Should cycle through. And then this guy is cycling down uh, Sudden Night. Sudden Night should just be going directly into the system. Yep. <clears throat> and we could actually totally do this too, thinking about it. Do like a little manufactory business. Have some upgrades. Okay, there we go. And this guarantees the the set the night as well for the loop. <coughs> and this guy, he'll only ever hold two stacks of buffer for the set the night, so it's not like he's gonna hold on to a ridiculous amount of it. And this guarantees the initial loop. And then this guy goes, and then this pressurizer that goes, and there we go. That is infinite set the night. Also off the setup that is making us recursive powder, of which we have 330 of. Nice and easy. Well, okay. It was easy, but it was. It took a little bit of time, but it it, it wasn't hard. I'll stay. I'll stick with my statement. Um. Let's get some overclocker upgrades and all these guys going. Get out of there. Uh, 
I need to go and make sure I don't have overclocker upgrades physically in a machine now. Once it finishes this cycle, it should get the new ones, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Now, <laughs> now these machines should process an Arkenstone extremely quickly. Yes. Their their limit actually is the fact that this guy doesn't have X-Track speed upgrades. This should catch him up, no problem. Oh, and that's something too, actually, we are going to put the melter on a higher priority. He'll be a priority of one. So it'll always try to feed this guy Bifrost Dust whenever it's uh, available before it'll send the Bifrost Dust forward to make more recursive powder. And there we go. Now it's done. We've added one new module in this machine. Um, Yeah, you know, honestly, I'm kind of impressed. Also, I felt like the Arkenstone line was going to be a much bigger, like, physically space-using setup, but it, it really wasn't. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. I respect it. Okay. Anyways. Um that gets us our beautiful recursive powder. So we finally finished that part of the mission too. Um it wants an orchid ignem. Oh, we need an Arkenstone for that. What does this make? Does it make anything good? Ethereum. I'm gonna need Ethereum or um okay. So let us I knew there was a reason I should have saved one. <laughs> Where am I at? Okay. Let's break this for just a second. Let's um let's just put a crate back on this guy. <coughs> Until we get one Arkin. Okay. Easy there, put all this stuff away. Okay, we got our Orchid Ignum. Combine this guy with like a, just a floating flower of any kind. And then... Make a glimmering blue flower. Back, floating sign flower. Then we can make a floating orchid. Perfect. <laughs> now, these do take mana, right? Actually, I want to say they do. 
Yes, yeah, they do. Okay. So I do want it to be fairly close to this mana pool as well for the other one. I guess it could be a floating nether, like nether block. I did like, I don't know, some like up to the roof. So it's just like over here, just about this magnetizer. Be anything crazy that way. I put him right there. It's not changing any of the netherrack. Is it going to change any of this ever? Yeah, it's full of mana. <laughs> I'm not sure why the Orchid Ignum isn't working. I don't think it needs to be... in the nether, right? Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't work in the overworld? Oh, yeah, I keyworded that. I said Orchid, Orchid Ignim Nether in the uh, Discord and people were talking about it. They're like, yeah, it has to be done in the nether. Um, okay. It's kind of a pain because of the mana supply that it needs, right? Because I need to give it mana. Um, I don't feel like making another creative mana pool for it. <laughs> Um, I would say it's a mana mirror.
Okay, yeah, so this mana mirror, if I make it, I can bind it to the mana pool, so I can bind it with the creative one, and then I, I use my ring of mana drive that I got, and I should be able to supply the mana directly from me to the Orchid Ignum. I don't need a lot of Ethereum. I need... Okay, that's kind of a gross recipe for one, it needs a mythic processor. But I only need two Ethereum ingots. Wait. Oh no. <laughs> so, never mind. I'm gonna need even more than that. Also, I'm gonna need that Arkenstone production at some point to stop making um, Sudden the Night and stuff for at least a little while. Because I will need some for the Arcan Gems directly. It doesn't look like I'll need a ton of Arcan Gem though. No, not really. Like a, a reasonable amount and that's it. Um, so we can leave that for now. Okay, yeah, so we are going to need a good amount of Ethereum. But it, we only need... The one. Or two. Anyways, technically one, I guess. Because, yeah, we just need to make the botanical stones, and then that'll make more Ethereum ore, and that'll get farmed that way. So, we'll get two Ethereum manually with an Orchid Ignum, and then that, that should be it. I shouldn't need to worry about any more of that. Let's go to the Nether real fast. Let's go and plop... Oh, oh I totally forgot the other part of this. Uh, Mana Mirror. This guy. Find him to this pool now. Oh, really? Am I a magnet off? No, it's on. It's just not pulling. The oh, he dropped in the demagnetizer area. That's what happened. Um, that should be fine. Alright, now we go to the nether. That'll be permanently linked to that mana pool now. And we'll just leave him in our little side section here. Whenever we don't need it. But that should be global mana recharge. It not be the bobble is kind of inconvenient, but it is what it is, right? Kind of want an area that's just some netherrack. There you go, right here will be fine. He's a little loud. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, we got three Ethereum ore. We'll be able to process this into ingots, no problem. Uh, honeycomb ingots. Surely there's a there's a better way to make these. No, all they're always gonna require honeycomb ingots. I'm gonna need five thousand of them. You're kind of shitting me with that, but okay, I guess. <laughs> It's kind of a pain. Um, 
Okay. Yeah, it's just annoying because the, uh... I just don't want a honey smelter bee running all the time. You know, animating that. Is what it is, though. Okay, we'll deal with that. Um... Alright, that's all the ethereum, so we can just grab our orchid ignum back. I think that is fine. We could mine more, we, we don't even need to. Alright, that guy can sit in the system. Uh, move our mana mirror over there. Okay, not bad. So, that is the full processing line of the Ark and Stone stuff, pretty much. At least everything we can right now um, without Mythic Processors. So... We need to get to the mythic processor stuff so that we can, for one, eventually like get the saw blade. Uh, so we're gonna need the ethereum ingots through the alloy smelter. Run that through. We get the ethereum saw blade. That gives us arc and gems. Arc and gems for one make more saw blades. We'll need some for the call stone, and then they can be used in the creation altar. Um, not honestly that far away from right now. Don't do that, gas. You didn't even hit me. You just made the noise like he was going to shoot and then just didn't, I guess. Go home. <sighs> okay. Oh yeah, I remember these. Where you could make the Molten Prometheum, and then you can Prometheum loop them to get the, uh, to, like, keep it consistent, but... It did seem a little pointless. <laughs> I will be honest. Just for the fact that, um, that power amount is just... Minimal. I don't know. I'll worry about that one later. Can't do that until we get to our next major section to Pixonia. Did I never... I never picked up an enzyme. <laughs> uh, did I ever put one in the system somehow? No. We're going to yoink an enzyme real fast. I'll do it core. Okay, so I haven't made one of those yet. I wasn't sure if I'd already made one. <clears throat> Blue fire singularities. It'll need some orium gems. It'll be fine. Hearts of the stag. Shadomium. Um, Termosect. Statues. Four of them, it looks like. Then some extra wildwood hearts. Or stormland biomarkers. I think I have a Stormland biomarker. I have a Skythern one. Why did all these change to none? These weren't none earlier. Um, that's inconvenient, to say the least. <laughs> Whatever.
Use the right of the shifting seasons with a special bowline to create the Stormland biome. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember. Um, I, yeah, it's right here. That's what it is. It's back in this section. We need the blue fire singularity and stuff. Um, and then the other mission next to that. <clears throat> and then you upgrade this guy into this one, the Stormland bowline. And then if you use the Stormland bowline in the Ride of the Shifting Seasons, then it gives you the Stormland um, biome base, I believe. I think that's how all this works. <laughs> Pretty sure. It all looks pretty possible. Um, it looks like we're looking at quite the investment there, though. Let's grab, let's grab our new garnets. We're only at a few hundred of each of these, unfortunately. Five hundred. We would have had more if um we didn't have that connection issue part. Or where the cosmic matter ran out. What am I missing? I'm missing one of these. So, so leave. There you go. <laughs> that does all the garnets for each. Um, each one has a wormhole as well, which we will worry about at some point, but probably not right now, because we're not. We don't really need it right now. <laughs> you know. Yeah, and this will be for the Vibranium Servos. Vibranium Servos will be needed to make the Mythic Machine Casing. And the Mythic Machine Cases will be used... I thought for more than just this. Okay, yeah, you need them for the Draconium Electromagnets. That's what it was. Yep, okay. Yeah, so they were needed for the... Yeah, so you need the Mythic Machine Casings and stuff, so you need the Vibranium Servos. All that nice jazz to get the Mythic Machine Cases. These guys will make the Electromagnets. And then once you get the electromagnets, then you can finally get your mythic processors going, which is what we need. So we'll need like the alloy furnace. We're gonna need, uh, we'll need at least one pulverizer as well. And we'll give them on-demand recipes from our stuff. Okay. Yep, I think that'll be a plan for another day. I did tell myself I was going to start doing shorter streams so that I don't, I don't uh, burn myself out and stuff. It'll help me stay a bit more consistent. So I think that's probably going to be a wrap here. I feel like anything I get into here is going to be like a three to four hour investment to get towards. So I'm thinking maybe we don't do that right now. What's Pixonia take actually? Hold on. Ah, yeah. That looks like a pen. Leave whenever I get here yet again. You've been here for... I don't know how long, but... It, it wasn't right as you got here this time. Yeah, you got here 40 minutes ago. <laughs> 10 minutes? What are you smoking? You typed a message at 9.15. It's 9.50 now. 35 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no. I think I'll call it there. Um, not too bad though. Not too bad. I'll take it. We got the we got the Arkansas line done. Um, we will double check on our miners, make sure that our cosmic matter is actually still being made, that all these guys are running real fast, because I do want them to keep producing. Yeah, they're all looking good to me. All their fluids and stuff, other than the cosmic matter, were completely stable. So very nice. That'll run Arkansas overnight too. Do I need Arkenstone for anything else? Like the raw stone, really? Oh, I kind of do, right? Uh, we'll, let, we'll, we'll let that run overnight, and then we'll disable it tomorrow whenever we need to get some actual Arkenstone itself uh, for the needs of, like, Arken gems and everything. And then we'll let that sack up for a while, so... We'll see, we'll see.
Thank you guys for dropping by though. I do appreciate it. Keep it uh keep it nice and short for this one. And I'll be back tomorrow. I should be streaming tomorrow around the same time, so like 6.30 to 7 um, Central Standard Time should be no problem. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the support on the streams, the people that are lurking, and uh, enjoy your Stalker. <laughs> let me know. Let me know how Stalker 2 is. Peace, everybody.